Today we're going to do a video to show you how to fit the roof bars that we've got in front of us here onto the Freelander 2. So this is Freelanders from 2007. Okay, so basically this is a product, we got it for sale on our website, but it's a reproduction, it's an aluminium roof rack system. Um, it comes with one crossbar, but that's really a structural member rather than a sort of loading crossbar. Uh, this kit will accept the genuine Land Rover crossbars, um, which you can get separately, or roof racks or roof boxes. Okay, so that's the main bars. You can see you've got the left bar, the right bar, and that cross member there. Right. And then the rest of the kit we've got here. So uh, if I zoom out a little bit, you can see we've got a mixture there of the tools you'll need to do the job and the bits and pieces. I'll give you a quick talk through the bits and pieces and then we'll get on fitting them on the car. Okay, so you've got a series of plastic covers which clip into the um, the roof bars when you've fitted them. Okay, you've got some rubber gaskets here that go on the bottom of the, the mounting feet. You've got three mounting feet on each bar so you can see there you've got a pair of gaskets for each of the mounting feet. These little plastic bits clip into the underside of that cross member we were just talking about. Again there's the, the covers that clip onto the, um, the, the front corners of the roof bar and these are the side plastic covers. Right and then we've got the fitting kit and obviously it's most important that you get the right bits here. So there's a series of washers, these are some special step washers and we'll see why we need those a series of bolts. Um, the black ones here are for connecting the crossbar. The big four there, that's for the rear mounts on the on the bars. Um, these front two here are for the front mounts and these two screws go into actually into the top of those there. Okay, some of the tools you'll need. Um, silicon, we'll put this in with the kit if you buy it from us. Um, that's just where you thread these into the roof to put a little bit around there. Um, this is the uh, ever handy trim button removing tool. We'll show you how to, to use that. We've got these on the website and we might put those in with the kit. You'll need a couple of Allen keys. Um, this is a lip and spur drill. We'll see that used later. We'll, we'll throw that in with the kit because you might not have one of those in the toolbox. Um, to fit these you need a 21mm deep reach socket which handily is the same as a sort of the standard bigger type spark plug socket so we put that out to, and then you'll need a ratchet driver. So not too much there so that's the introduction let's get on with the fitting. Okay so we've come out to the car we'll do it outside the lights better out here and show you so we've actually fitted one side you can see there the far side of the car and now we're gonna do the near side so we're gonna start at the back here okay Right, and as you can see, the first job we've got to do, I'll hand it over to Tom, is uh, we've got to remove these two little fir tree fixings that pull out. So if I just pass that to you, Tom, thank you. Right, so we've got our ever useful sort of snake's tongue tool, I don't know, fork tool here. And we're just gonna use that to lever underneath these. There we go. Okay, and then into the middle and then push on the top a little bit. That's it, okay, and then just lever that out, okay? So you can see there that's the fir tree type fixing, okay? So that's the first one of those out, and then we'll take the second one if we can. Perfect. Right, get it under there, get it right into the middle. That's it, okay. So that's those two out. Okay. Now you'll see that that's exposed. If I just grab the camera, Tom, you'll see that's exposed two threads here on the inside. So we've got one there and one there, and that's where, if you look over to the other side, that's where we're going to be bolting the uh, the. Oh, there we go. Those two bits of the roof bar in are going to bolt in to those two bolt fixings there. Okay, now with those two out, we now need to work forward and we now need to move this middle section of Okay, so trim. we're actually going to come in from the side here to lever this and you can see the rubber ends there and we can get the tool in there but I don't want to scratch the paintwork so I'm just going to put that underneath and then put the tool in. Okay, and then we're just going to 
lever this this up here, okay. And then hopefully this middle section now, okay. See there, we've now we put the tools down and show you, okay. We've now managed to lever this and you can see that there's this little floating clamp plate here that clamps onto this trim. Okay, I can now work work Okay, what we need to do now is remove this front bolt. Now one thing to note here is that we're not going to remove this main plastic bit, but at the side of it, there's this little bit of rubber here. So you might want to just note which way that goes, because that little bit of rubber there does come out. So you want the little flappy bit there, a bit technical I know, is towards the door, and the, the channel is towards the centre of the car, so that's where that will go. But for now, just we'll keep it out of the way, but be careful with that when you put that back in. So then we're going to take take that fitting there and replace it with this one which you can see has got a, a fitting on the top there that the roof rack front foot is going to bolt into okay so the next thing we need is a 21 mil socket okay so let me swap the camera for the tools with Tom All right now we've used I mentioned at the start of the video a um, spark plug spanner socket okay have a look at that. I've got to stop saying okay in my videos apparently. I'm not doing very well. So that's what we're taking out and this is what we're going to replace it with. Now let me just lay the tools in the channel there gently and what we're going to do is we're going to put a little bit of silicon around this. In fact we'll probably break, have a cup of tea, clean all this out and then we're going to come back. We're going to put a bit of silicon around here and put that in so that it's all sealed. Okay. So under here you can start to see where this is. There's um there's a, a fir tree mountain there. You can see a, a base there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the same as I did before. Insert the bit of cardboard to protect the paintwork. And then lever underneath. Okay, and pop out. Okay, so there we go. If I'll grab the camera, I'll put that down. Grab the camera to show you. Okay. So you can see there the hexagonal base. And you can see the fir tree there just by my finger that we've put. Okay, so now what we've got to do is there's actually two bits here and you can start to see here they've separated. So we need to leave the lower part on the car, okay? So we just need to, to separate away. So when you've levered and you've got this bottom bit there separate, you can then just ease this, this up here. Okay. Right, and then unclip it from the front. And then if we have a look at that on the floor, there you'll see we've got that whole component off in one the two sections here they are actually joined together there with the plastic rivet and there's the the section there okay, so okay. We now need to put this new fixing in the roof um, because this goes through to the headlining um, I recommend putting a bit of silicon so we're just gonna dab some silicon around there so as it goes in it will form a seal we can wipe any excess off okay Careful you don't cross thread it, it should spin in pretty much by hand. Okay. Okay. And then nip that up tight. Okay, you can see why you need the long reach socket. You can get the old one out without a long reach socket, but you can see with this one when you've got this stander, and again that's where we're using the plug spanner there. Okay, so we'll tidy that up later. We've got the bit of rubber to put back in, like so. Okay. Now, we'll, now what we've got to do is drill a hole to clear this fitting in the plastic. So we'll stop the video here and we'll start it again when we're ready to do the drill. 